Valkyrie lazing on the road that we must travel. Valkyrie lazing through the darkness of the night. Okay, people, welcome back to another Foosh Review. Tonight I'm taking a look at the Hasbro Marvel Legends series Thor Ragnarok 2-pack with Thor and Marvel's Valkyrie, or Valkyrie, or however you choose to pronounce it. Now, I know I just did a quickie review on the Thor, but I think I like this one better, and plus, new character in the pack. Had to grab it. Looking at the package, it's your standard Marvel 2-pack. Uh, we've been seeing a lot of these at Toys R Us. In fact, I saw the Hydra 2-pack... <laughs> Big open window, you see everything you're getting in here. It took me a while to figure out what the hell that was, but it's a sheath for the sword. Eh. On the side, you get a pretty picture of Valkyrie. On the back, promotional shots of both figures. You get bios for them. Then down here is the warnings, the unreadables. Probably says something like, uh, not real electricity. Don't try jump-starting your car with this Thor. On the other side, pretty picture from the movie of Thor. On the top, kind of a window in case you want to look at the top of their heads. On the bottom, legalese, barcode. But I'm going to get this open and see what's going on here. And there we go, all out of the package. And uh, my hunch was true. It, it didn't fail me this time. I do like this Thor better than the single-packed one. And then, of course, it's always nice getting a new figure, but uh, there's some stuff going on here. First up, looking at Thor. Again, it's a great sculpt. This is the second time we've seen this. The single pack shares this body. The single pack comes with an extra accessory. Well, a couple of extra accessories. One's on the body. But for the most part, same paint, same sculpt. Nothing surprising here if you did get the wave. But speaking on that for a moment, there is a lot of nice sculpting going on here. A lot of detail that I didn't realize was on it until you get the figure in hand. The wraps on the boots, the little stitches on the pants, the kind of techy Kirby look to the upper body piece, and then the paint all over it. It's not super washy or super detailed, but the base colors are all there. They're all nice. There's some paint wash to the wraps on the legs, making them look more like leather. And same thing for the little skirt piece. And then the markings, whatever they are, in red, nice and clean all over the body. Well, up the left side anyway. And get up to the head, and here we go with the photo reel again. I love this stuff. Absolutely love it. It's really shot the MCU Marvel Legends to the forefront for me. I mean, I see a movie wave coming, and I think, yes. The sculpt here looks like Hemsworth, and then, you know, the more realistic eyes, the lips, just pushes that resemblance even further. The hair, though, isn't really washed. It's just kind of the base color. But you will notice, if you find several packs, that the dirtiness to his face, like he's been through battle or something, it's different figure to figure. Mine has some dirt above his right eye, and then some a little bit over the rest of the face. And then looking at Valkyrie, brand new sculpt all over the place. Looking at pictures, this isn't her only costume in the movie, but I kind of like this one. This seems to be her battle-ready costume, or at least her gladiator games costume arena whatever again very kirby-esque there's angles there's little details not all over there's some flat spots but what detail is there it's very nice and then for paints when i found it at target i thought it was just a black costume but i get it home under the lights here where i can see a little bit better it's a metallic black there's sparkles to the armor parts her upper body piece her shins and then some silver laid out here and there for detailing work it just works really well and then up to the head i love the hairstyle here it works i'm not as familiar with the actress playing Valkyrie, but from pictures I've seen, it's a nice, nice resemblance. Again, going with the photo reel, the eyes pop out at you as being, you know, semi-realistic. Okay, I talked about this earlier in the week with the single-carded Thor, but I didn't actually show it. It's the shoulder pad is actually attached to the bicep, so it rotates around the shoulder ball. I like this. This works really great if the cape wasn't in the way. This would go up over the shoulder, You'd get most of the way out, but it crashes into the peg that holds this cape on. And that's not Hasbro's fault. This would have worked perfectly, but because of the design, everything being to the left side, it just kind of runs into each other. But I will say the two-pack Thor, the cape stays in much, much better than the single-pack Thor. The single-pack likes to work itself out as you're moving it, you're posing it around. This stays pegged for whatever reason. I don't know if it's because it's bigger mushroom head or what's going on there, or there's more detent. No clue. It also stays pegged better on the hip, too. Once you get it in there, 
it seems to want to stay unless you just get absolutely crazy with the figure. No problem with Valkyrie's cape, it's pegged, it stays there, it's glued there, which I feel like some of the other capes in the single pack series should have been glued on. Loki, Hela, Thor, but the good thing about that, you can buy glue. You can just glue it in. It's not a huge problem. My biggest problem here is the figure itself is stiff. You try to get into action poses and it looks a little bit odd. And that mostly comes from the head not having any tilt. The elbow being kind of sad. And the wrist being hinges in and out instead of up and down. So when you get to the end and you're looking at the action poses, if she looks a little bit weird, it's because of that. It's the articulation hindrances. Even though the torso is nice for what it is. It's just that everything else doesn't play along with it. And speaking of the elbows, on the right side, it's really weird. You have this the right way. The bracer shows you that it does go to the outside. So this is the correct way, and it doesn't even go up to 90. But if you turn that around and come up, you can see that it goes eh, just barely past 90. So there's actually more movement with the arm backwards but it's blatantly obvious that the bracer is backwards. But if you compare the two, you can see that the left side has more clearance going down into the arm. This one stops here. This may just be mine because I can see some mush in the sculpt right there. I don't know if the plastic was warped or something went on because the left arm does go up to almost 90. And turning it backwards, it doesn't even, it goes past 45. So it actually works like it's supposed to. It's just the right arm doesn't, which kind of sucks because that's the sword holding hand. Going over articulation, there's a ball going up into the head with a hinge in the neck, but you get a fair amount of tilt there. You get down, you get up, swivel. Hinge and swivel in the shoulder goes up past 90, and then it swivels around. Swivel at the bicep, double elbow, good range of movement. Hinge and swivel at the wrist, and I have the open hands on this, but on the sword wielding hands, they are up and down for the either the sword it comes with or the dual swords from the single pack. A plus on that too, Hasbro, because yeah, swords should be up and down. Before his gripping, grasping, electrifying hand, it is hinged side to side. And then there's swivel. There's a hinge in the torso. Gets over uh, a little bit. Gets back. Swivel at the waist, and if you go too far with that, that's when you pop the cape off the hip because it just pulls at it. There's a ball going out into the hip. You can go forward. Not a lot of flex to this lower skirt, so you can't get all the way up. Back to about right there. Out, again, the lower piece, holding it back. There's a swivel. Double knee, uh, past 90. Dang, not great, but not bad. Hinge at the ankle, goes back, goes forward, and then forward face and pin. For Valkyrie, there's a ball going up into the head with a hinge in the neck. She can bury her chin. She can look up, not a lot of side to side. Swivel, hinge and swivel at the shoulder, comes up past 90, swivels around. We talked about the elbows a minute ago. Hinge and swivel, comes to there, swivels. Hinge and swivel at the wrist, side to side, and then it swivels. Ball in the torso, goes forward, goes back, goes side, goes side, then swivels there. Ball going out to the hip, the lower skirt here is fairly rubbery. So it goes up, not quite 90, but almost. Goes back, kind of runs it into her butt sculpt under there. Out, not bad. Swivel at the thigh. Double knee, doesn't come all the way up, but eh, most of the way. Hinge at the ankle, goes back, goes forward. And then there's forward facing pin for Rocker. For accessories, Thor comes with this sword. A nice sculpt. I do believe this is Heimdall's sword. It's a big honking sword, really, when you come down to it. I don't know why he comes with Heimdall's sword or what happened to Heimdall, whatever. It's just cool to get the sword. I'd like to get Heimdall to go along with the sword, but the sword will work for now. And then he comes with this energy effect. This is more fun than I thought it would be. It's nice and soft, so it wraps around stuff, it opens up, and the blue color to it isn't bad at all either. On the package, it shows that you kind of put it in his hand, and he can hold it, and he's shooting it out. But I kind of like it wrapping around his arm. As you can see, it unfolds. It's not a tube. It's actually a flat piece that's just kind of molded to go around. So if you put this around his arm like this, it's, I don't know, it's kind of cool looking. It's like, uh-oh, he just got electrified. There's a part in the trailer that shows him getting, you know, electricity out of his hands. I don't know if they're going for something like, you know, the power was always there. You didn't need the hammer. You are the god of thunder. But it's a nice effect. I'll probably display it like this. I can't remember if there's a head coming out that has the electric eyes, though. That'd be cool. And like I said earlier, he's got the splayed out hands, but he also has a pair of grip hands. And that's for holding Heimdall's sword, or if you want to use the swords from the single pack Thor. And to change them out, you just pull, 
you put the other hand in oh, it's a little bit tight and you can see the size difference too the open hand is way bigger than the grip hand but it has the up and down swivel which yeah and then Valkyrie comes with a sword it looks like it's made out of jade or something some kind of cool green electric not electric but metal a stone I don't know but it's a neat looking sword and that also comes with a sheath with uh, some nice details on it and then the paints match her armor but oh man I don't know if it's because of the size of the sword or what, but it is really, really rubbery. Heimdall's sword may be a little bit rubbery too, but because of the size and the thickness, it doesn't want to bend around near as bad as this. The other problem is her hand is a little bit tough to open up. That's a hard, hard plastic. So getting the sword in her hand, I'd kind of force it in there with it being, you know, floppy. It's kind of a challenge to get in there, but once you do... She holds it okay. The left hand is way too open to grip the sword. And then for the sheath, uh, there's no peg. There's no hole. Uh, the only place I can figure out to put the sheath is through her loose belt right here. There and through. And while we're on that subject, accessories, she has two knives on her hips, but they don't come out of the sheaths. It's a cool little added detail, but... I'd like to have a little daggers. And then finally, her sword does go in the sheath and looks pretty good in there. For comparison, here's the two-pack Thor with the single-pack Thor. Like I said, same body, same everything. But I like what the unmasked head brings to the body. And you can also see the single-pack Thor has that extra shin pad on the right. It is removable. I don't know why it didn't come here. I'll have to see the movie. I don't know. And then for Valkyrie, here she is with the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 Nebula. As Guardian... A uh, little bit larger. Uh, it seems like they scale this line up a little bit. I, the whole God thing, I guess. I don't know. So at the end of the day, I'm glad I picked up this set. I, I was about not to because I'm not super hyped for Thor yet. I haven't went and seen the movie. I don't know what goes on there. I don't know if Valkyrie's a major important character. But she's been shown quite a bit. So to get a figure of her... I'm happy. I doubt any other company is going to give us a Valkyrie, so in plastic form, she will work. And like I said, I like this Thor better. There's something about the head. We have went two movies wishing Thor would put on the helmet, and then when he finally puts on the helmet, I'm happier with the unhelmeted head than I am with the helmeted head. And there's just something about the electricity. When that part happens in the trailer, when he juices up a little bit, it makes me interested. It's something different than giving him the same old hammer. And not to disparage Mjolnir at all, I love that little thing, but we've seen the trailers. We know what's going to happen. Now this was $40 at Target. I feel like that's a good price. $20 per figure. That's what I would have paid single carded for the both of them. So it works out. Plus it gives us another avenue for figures that they might not put into the main wave. So both of these, they'll go in the display. And if you're wondering, the Hulk I have in like the group shot, that's the old Marvel Select Hulk. I don't remember which movie that came out for. Uh, Avengers or Age of Ultron, one of those, I don't know. But it's been a while since I got that Hulk, and I haven't built the Gladiator Hulk yet. But getting these makes me more antsy to build it. So if you like the review, comment, like, subscribe. I'll catch you on the foosh. <laughs>